Hi, my name's Cameron Carlson with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at OhioCon 2020 with my good pal, Mr. Steve Bloom. Hello, sir. Nice to see you again. All right, we're going to run this down real quick. Okay. It was last time we saw you was at ColossalCon 2018. How you been? Oh, good. Busy. Really, really, really busy. In fact, I'm about to get on a plane. That's why we're going so fast right now. Sorry about that. All righty. And going over that, Toonami, still good. Great. Tom gets his own gig. Oh, my God. Amazing. Every single week, every Saturday night, only Toonami. And check out The Forge on Toonami. Also, it is our latest immersion event, six episodes, and Bo Billingsley plays the bad guy named Booger. That's what I was getting at. Yes. All right. Yep. And going into that, you got the chance to do a mini of heroes and villains in the new Marvel Alliance 3. How was it? Uh, very fast and furious, <laughs> as most games are. It was really fun. It's always good to work in the Marvel Universe. Please hire me again. Got to bring back Wolverine? Yeah, Bob. I love playing Wolverine. I don't get to do him enough. <laughs> All righty. And you are now in a Netflix series called... Baki is um, Dopo Ochoro. How was it to work on it? And did you get to see the original Funimation work when it was called Baki the Grappler? I never saw the original stuff. It was one of those situations where they threw me in the room. I hear three beeps and I go with no context. <laughs> uh, but it was awesome. What a great character. I mean, fighting once his hand is cut off with his stump. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> All righty. Like and real life. Yeah. Now, again, big thing for you. You're now teaching uh, voiceover work with uh, Bloombox, correct? Yeah. How's that going? It's amazing. It's called BloomboxStudios.com. Uh, it is an online-based uh, teaching resource. Uh, very reasonably priced. I wanted to do real-world information for people who might not otherwise be able to have access to that. Uh, all the classes are archived. We do them live once a month now. There are 37 classes as we speak now. Now that are archived with Q&A's included, so there's a lot of really great information, and now we're bringing in incredible people who have inspired me in my career. Once a month, we've had Bob Bergen and uh, Charlie Adler and Kari Walgren and Rob Paulson, yeah. amazing, amazing people. We've, we've got Miley Flanagan coming this Tuesday night and a bunch of other incredible people who have just uh, blown me away in my career for so many years providing information that I cannot because they are the experts in their own fields. <laughs> Alrighty. And going into that, a big film you got to be in uh, the last year was uh, Promere. Thank you. I'm goofing on the name. Sorry about that. I don't know how it's pronounced either, but that's what I've been calling it. So. <laughs> so how was it like doing that film? It was a really fast uh, couple of sessions for me and uh, again, kind of out of context, but it looked amazing. And I kept missing the theatrical uh, screenings of it because I've been traveling. So I haven't seen it yet. I can't wait to see it. Uh, so I need to see it as well, so don't worry. It's great, though. All righty, and uh, a big thing for you is that you finally got to be on the big screen again, bringing the voices of Envy and, uh, I think it's Envy and Wrath yep. for Shazam. How was it like bringing those two together? Shazam was amazing to work on. I got to work with some of my really, really dear friends on that. Uh, Darren DePaul and Fred Tatashore, we were the, the seven deadly sins. And uh, just growling and, and screaming as these incredible characters for a film that I really liked, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I know the leads in the film, and it was, it was super fun. I didn't get to work with them in the same room. Zach Levi, uh, I've worked opposite on um, uh, Tangled. Okay. Also, the TV show, uh, and I'm a big fan of him, and I think he did a phenomenal job on that. So just to be part of that in a feature film was an amazing thing. Alrighty, and real quick for the fans out there, what's not behind the pesky end day wall that you want them to check out? Oh, uh, Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beast. It's a new show mm -hmm. airing on Netflix this week. Yep. Uh, it's being released, and I'm playing a character called Yum Yun, who is the leader of the Timber Cats, and a completely different kind of character for me. And it's a beautiful show with an amazing soundtrack, and so much cooler than I even imagined. So please check that out. And we're still going with Toonami every Saturday night, only Toonami, and most of the other stuff I can't talk about yet. Alrighty, real quick, how can we find you online and a message? I am at Bloom, uh, I am at Bloom Spew on Twitter, and I believe on uh, Instagram also. Facebook, just under my name. And what was the other question? Real quick message. A real quick message. Thank you guys so much for uh, allowing me to do this career. I wouldn't have a career without you, so I appreciate you so much. Uh, and thank you for telling me your stories at conventions like this, because that's the thing that really fills me up and makes me feel like I have a purpose in this world. Again, thank you so much, Steve. Have a safe flight. My pleasure.